Good morning, everyone. Kristen DeFrancisco, Assistant Superintendent at Groton Dunstable Regional School District. And I am vlogging with you today about planning for a SMART professional goal. Now, as we know, professional goals are important all of the time, but especially during the pandemic, we're thinking about how do we shift what we may have written a professional goal about before returning to school in this unprecedented way. Um, and now we're thinking about how do we really make that professional goal work um, and uh, help us improve upon our ability to balance at home learners and in school learners. Um, and we've talked quite a bit about engagement and motivation and whether your SMART professional goal is going to be in an area such as feedback loops, or maybe you're thinking about targets, learning targets, and student-friendly language for learning targets. Um, you are always making sure to be invested in your goal. So what is it that you're choosing and why are you choosing it? So I'll talk a little bit about that in this slide deck. And it's a really short one, just a couple of reminders for me as I'm talking, but also for you to be able to see as you're thinking about that SMART professional goal. Whenever I'm planning a goal, um, especially if it's a SMART goal, I always think about watching something first, reading something, and writing something. And I treat this as creating my background knowledge. So if I'm going to pick, let's say, a developing inclusive learning communities, I really want to understand what that means. It's, it's a very popular right now. Um, it's, it's very important for sure. But it's also, do I really understand what that means? Or am I just choosing that goal because it's something everybody is talking about? So I really want to make sure I watch something, I read something, and then I write a little bit about what I've watched or what I've read or why the particular focus or topic means something to me and why I feel like it's a worthy topic to focus on. So how do you write one of these anyway? So I'm, I think about using a template and I'm gonna show you a template in a moment that I think can be very helpful as you're thinking your way through a SMART goal. And once you've done that watching, writing and reading, you really are ready to uh, think about your goal out loud. And so what I will share with you is this goal assist template. And what this template will show you is what does it really mean to be specific about a goal? Why is that important? Okay. Why is it important for a goal to be measurable? You're defining how much or what type of change you're aiming to accomplish. So it really, it marks the difference between where you are and where you'd like to be. And when we're talking about professionally, you might say something like, I am, uh, I don't use feedback loops as much as I want to. I would like to start using feedback loops. How do I get myself from here to there? Um, and what kinds of um, things do I need to do in order to start myself off? So then I'm thinking about, is this achievable? Am I biting off more than I can chew, so to speak? A goal is great if a goal is achievable, if you really think you've, you've chosen something that you're gonna be able to execute. If you're unable to do that, then it might not be achievable and you may need to shift your goal a little bit. Is it relevant? Well, if you've done your reading and you've done your writing and you've watched something, um, you can really talk about it being relevant. Um, the research is showing or, you know, uh, lots of people are working with and it is meaningful to me because. Um, so th those are really important steps to think about when you're thinking about why you chose a goal. And then is it time bound? Does it have a target? Is there, you know, a time frame in there? And it doesn't have to be a year long. It doesn't even have to be a, a semester long. It could be three weeks. And then you could change your goal. So I think thinking about these things ahead of time um, based on your prior knowledge is really important. So as you can see here, um, there's a space for you to talk about being specific. What is your focus area? Why is it important? Explain it in a sentence. Then you go through and do measurable, same thing. Where are your students or where are you? For this particular, we're talking about a professional goal. So where are you right now? This can help with the, that beginning language of your goal. Um, where do you need to go to? Where do you want to get? How many levels do you think you want to progress or do you want your students to progress if you're talking about a student achievement goal? Explain that in a sentence. You know, reread what you just wrote for sentences and specific and measurable and does this, ask yourself, does this sound like something I can do and how do I know that? Jot a few sentences down about that. Is it relevant? 
again, you've read, you've written, and you've watched. So you should be able to talk about some relevancy. And right now we're talking about, yes, uh, we're hoping to pick something that is going to motivate and, and um, engage students. And so right now that would be a very relevant area to be working in. And then finally, time bound. Think of a sentence starter. Think about in the, over the next three weeks, during semester one, during trimester one, um, during a specific six-week unit of a Lucy Calkins um, lesson or of a math lesson or of a science concept. And then you put it all together. Sounds silly, but you're going to recopy your sentence from specific. You'll recopy from measurable and you'll recopy your sentence starter from time bound. And if you start to look at it that you can, you can put together using those sentences you've already thought out, you can put your goal together and be sure that it's all of those things, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Now you might have to move, uh, kind of fiddle with the language a little bit, but um, I guarantee you it will help you start to frame that goal in a way that it is smart and not have you getting hung up on percentages and you know 70% of my students will. Well, if 70% of your students are doing something, 30% of them are not. And so you, you wanna be thinking about how you are framing that measurable piece. You might for a student achievement goal, um, I know we're talking about professional goals today, but you might for a student achievement goal, talk about um, how students are going to improve, get better based on a rubric. For yourself, I always find it the measurable piece to be, I am going to increase my use of I am going to go from using this, um, you know, somewhat to really embedding it into my practice. It's going to show up every day. Um, you know, there's the measurable piece. So it's measurable and it works if you're able to track it and you're able to see the progress and you're able to show some evidence around that progress. Um, when we're talking about evidence and we're talking about next steps here, you know, you're going to be thinking about what is your action? How am I really going to do these things? What is it going to look, feel, and sound like when I have moved through? You already started. You already watched something. You read something. And you wrote about something. That's an action step toward you. You've already done three things if you've done that first step process. So those can be action steps here. That's research for your goal. Um, sample evidence. You've already started that if you've read something and you've written something um, and you've watched something because that those those particular things are evidence of your work. Um, so I think when you're thinking about professional smart goals, work smarter, not harder. Um, there's lots of ways that you can show evidence and there's lots of ways that you can, um, you know, come up with action steps that are really going to work for your goal. So this is just an overview of what how you might approach a professional goal really at any time, but especially now during our um, re-entry during COVID-19. And I feel like if we're thinking about or focusing our professional goals around how do we motivate and engage students, that is a really relevant place for us to be right now. Um, I wish you luck as you craft your professional goals. I will be coming out with, you will, you will have add access to you some vlogs around um, some specific work around feedback loops. Uh, I am also going to vlog about the learning targets and using student SMART goals and crafting these goals with your students, as well as building inclusive learning communities. So um, I hope this entry point has given you some things to think about and you'll be off starting to, you guessed it, read something, watch something and write about it. Thank you for watching.